Hey, what's up out there? It's Doug Cunnington from Niche Site Project and The Doug Show. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about a tool that I use. I'm actually a customer of the tool. I purchased it, I didn't get a free copy. I am, however, an affiliate and it's called Link Whisper. It is a tool that allows you to add internal links to your site as you're writing a post, as your, for example, writer or editor is working in WordPress, they can insert links, it's that easy to use. Additionally, Spencer Hawes, the creator of the tool, has been adding more functionality so it can give you like an error report. So if you have links that are not uh, pointing anywhere, they're pointing to a site that has gone away or they're pointing to somewhere that is uh, no longer relevant on your site, you can run a report on all that stuff. And I, I've been a customer since the very beginning and the tool has improved a ton. I actually remember the first version of it was extremely buggy and I kept sending emails and you know the, the tool has gotten better and better. It's been out over a year at this point. And one of the reasons why I'm publishing the video right now is there's a sale going on. There's a, there's a sale going on this week only, depends on when you watch it, but from I think May 25th until the end of the week, there is a sale. So there's a discount. You could follow my uh, affiliate link in the description and you should be able to check it out. Let me show you quickly a few of the cool things that you can do with Link Whisper. I'm gonna go over here to the screen and it, I'm on my site, nichesiteproject.com and you can see just the dashboard and the report that, that pops up initially here. And I'm gonna show you a few things and I'm not gonna give you like a full tutorial. Tutorial. I'm just gonna show you a few things that I really like. So number one, we can see just quickly where I'm linking. So I'm linking to my own site a bunch. Opt-in monster, that's monster campaigns. That is my sort of uh, email uh, pop-up that I have on the site. Usually they're not pop-ups though. I'm going to YouTube a bunch, uh, Niche Pursuits. That's actually Spencer Hawes' website. So I linked to him a few times. And actually, I, I think I link um, to several other places too, but I'd probably need to rerun the reports. So that's a little boring for this particular dashboard. So I'm gonna show you something a little bit better. We're gonna to go to the links report right here. And these are the internal links. And I'm actually gonna rerun the report here live just so you can see how quick it runs. And the, the reason I wanted to show you is because in the beginning, this took a long time. This took a long time to run and I actually didn't didn't test this bef beforehand so I hope it actually runs pretty quick. Um, I think it just said 100% a second ago but in the interest of not completely boring you, I'm gonna hop over here. It says, please don't close the tab otherwise the process will stop and it'll have to continue later. And okay, cool. It did finish that fast. I did not edit this. There's no cuts or anything like that. So <laughs> it actually worked and just a, a testament. Again, I didn't run this ahead of time. I wanted to see what would happen while I'm recording live and I'm opting to not edit this video mainly because I don't want to edit it in laziness and I want to publish it quickly. So I'm going to show you um, a couple things really quick. And I'm, I'm sort of curious to see how things are gonna behave. And I'm just gonna look for the keyword golden ratio. And that is something that I can build links to, right, throughout the site. And I see there are a few uh, posts here and we can see that there are internal inbound links and there are outbound internal links. And if we were to click one of these, we could see where those links are coming from and if we click the little plus sign here, we can see where they're going. And there's also outbound external links. So internal, that means the links are going to or from niche site project. External means the links are going outside of niche site project. So I'm gonna close these up and I'm just gonna kinda look around here to see if there's any that perhaps could use some links. And you can see this is my the, the page that I want to rank. So there's 31 links going to that. Some of them, there's just a few links here and there. Um, you can see there's 41 links going to this particular page, which is interesting. And, and these are all the pages where I mentioned keyword golden ratio. So it's going through and choosing those as well. 
and we can see just a number of sites, or sorry, not sites, a number of pages on the site. And some of them are just not that relevant. Like this one here, there's zero links going to it, but this is a post from October of 2016 kind of dated, I really don't care to rank that, so I'm not even gonna pay attention to it. So just pretty cool to be able to see this report here, and you can go go check some other stuff too. So I'm actually gonna go ahead to the next page here, and we can see there's some that uh, actually don't have any links. So what I'm gonna do, because you could sort based on the inbound internal links. So we could find all the pages that have zero, all right? We could find all the pages that have zero and we can see that there are several posts that are actually kind of interesting that maybe should have some internal links going to them. Gosh, well that's too bad and I initially started looking for keyword golden ratio but it looks like i don't need to to build any links to any of those specific posts so one that i do want to build a link to is making a thousand dollars per day that one's kind of interesting so i'm just going to show you in a demo right here um, again there's none here so if we click the plus there's none so i'm going to add just click add and it'll pull open a new tab here and it'll, it will give us some suggestions. This is the power of the tool right here. It'll give us some suggestions on what we can build links to. <laughs> Funny enough, there's no suggestions here, which is too bad. So this is one little flaw. The, because this title here is sort of strange and there's no like major keywords in there, I wasn't trying to rank for anything specific, there's nothing that comes up. So this is actually, I don't know what to do with this here. So uh, I'm gonna return to the report. So I can't really build any links to that one in that fashion. So let's see if we could find something. This one could be better. So guest post campaign reboot. And the thing is I use guest post in different areas of niche site projects. So this one may come up a little bit better. Fingers crossed. Otherwise I'm gonna have to re-record this and find some that actually <laughs> have some suggestions. So let's see what happens here. It'll take a second, it is searching, this is live again, no edits, no edits is pretty much like running a live video. Okay, perfect. So now we can see that we can um, actually build some links here. So we could edit the sentence if we want to, we could actually change up the anchor text here too. So we could change up the anchor text, conduct a guest post campaign. So I'm just gonna click a little checkbox and that'll allow us to um, add a link here. So once we get to that point, I'm just gonna scroll down and this is probably pretty relevant here. So the guest post can be accepted. And I, I usually like to use a long phrase like this. So I'm going to just click the checkbox there and I'm gonna to continue to scroll down how to choose where you link on your own site from a guest post. And here's some other stuff you could do. You could edit the sentence right here. So how to choose where you link. We could say maybe to link, like if you wanted to edit the text and then click save, right? And then we could make the anchor text this whole section here. So I'll put a little checkbox there. And that is how you do it. Um, if you do want some other options like this, you can click the, the check, or sorry, the plus mark here, and then select different areas, right? So these guest posts have contextual backlinks. And then again, you could sort of edit the anchor text here. So I'll click a little checkbox there and scroll up and click add links. Then it does its thing. It actually goes through via the database and it will make those edits for us. So the, we see the little thing is turning, it says success, and we are good to go. It also means, and this is like animating here, I think we're all done though. Uh, what we can do, we could refresh the link count for this part five that we just took a look at. So when we refresh it, it should reflect some additional links. So internal, links four. those are the ones that we just added and we can see the exact ones that we added them from. So full report here and we're good to go. I'm going to close out some of these windows because we don't need them open anymore. And I'm gonna hop back and show you right here one of the other cool things that you can do 
You could do auto linking, you could do a URL changer beyond the scope of what I wanna talk about today, but there are tutorials and different things that you can you know, learn how to do those things. But the report mechanism is more than just the links report. You could do a domains report, tells us some of the stuff here, or the error report. So again, this is something that I did not run ahead of time because I wanted to do it live right now. So I just clicked the button, fingers crossed that this doesn't take forever. It is going to have to go through all the posts that I have and run, you know, do the magic on the database. And I'm not going to go and try and fix all the errors. Undoubtedly, there's going to be quite a few because I haven't done this before. <laughs> so, and we see it's taking a few minutes. Um, I'm going to actually pause here because I don't just have filler content. So I'm going to pause. And right now the time is 534 when I'm recording this. And I will come back when it's done and I will report the time whenever it finishes. All right, we're back. Full disclosure, it took a few minutes. It took approximately the amount of time it would take me to get a beer from the kegerator. And that is just a few, few minutes and I can... You know, cheers for building such a good tool, Spencer. Good job. It does take a few minutes to run that report. It took about 10 minutes to run that report on 351 posts. And here we see that there are multiple areas where I am linking. And it's a 404 error, not, not found. Um, there's a request timeout. So there are a number of issues here, uh, 51 bad links. And the thing is those bad links kind of send a sign over to Google that I am not keeping things as current as I should on my site. And there are things that should be fixed. So I need to work on that and, and either link to the appropriate place or, you know, change the link, you know, change the link. Sometimes the, the link is dead and it's not relevant anymore or whatever. So there's other functionality within Link Whisper, but I just wanted to show you that because I knew for a fact that I had bad links and well, I guess I just exposed that I, I don't keep things as up to date as I should. But the cool, the super cool part is the tool is simple enough to use and it's much more robust than it used to be that I will be able to get one of my assistants I don't have a big team, it's me and a couple of assistants that help me with specific things. And I'll be able to talk to my friend. They're usually my friends. I'll be able to talk to my friend to help me out and say, hey, I got these dead links. You already know how to use Link Whisper. If not, go watch the video over on the website and you should be able to you know, link or remove the link or do whatever I want him or her to do in this specific case. And in fact, it takes nearly, you know, no time. It takes about five minutes to let, you know, the person know what, if you're hiring a VA, for example, to let them know what they need to do and then what to do. Then if they have any questions, they can check out any of the videos out there, like this one, for example, although it wasn't very tutorial based. So I was just kind of telling you about what you could do, but you can go check out the tool in general, and you can check out the videos over on the Link Whisper website. Anyway, there's a discount right now going on for just one week, and it's sort of um, it's kind of a big deal. There's not as there's not very many discounts that come out on this tool. There's not very many big promotions, and it's a time to take advantage of it. Like I said, I am a customer. I did not get the tool for free, even though I know Spencer and I've known her for a pretty long time. So anyway, if you have any questions about the tool. Um, you can you can leave them in the comments, but I actually would direct you towards Spencer and his team because they do an excellent job. The support is very, very good, and the tool has come a super long way in the last year. Thanks.